guys welcome back to the channel this is steven turner wind's kind of blowing today we'll try out this new angle but we're back on the boat we got the boat i don't think we're sinking so hopefully we'll be able to find some slab today but i mean it's about a crisp a crisp 30 this morning but we're out here on lake mary wind's blowing but we're we gonna try to put some fish in the boat today at least i got a new color that i came up with i ain't gonna reveal it right now but we're gonna see if it works out i mean you'll probably see it throughout the video if i actually find some fish to catch but tell me in the comments below if you like this angle or you'd rather me stick to the chest cam really not sure how good the audio is but you know that's what editing's for i can fix that but let's see what we can figure out today. There we go. Nice. Nice little keeper. Think about using gloves. Get a dang hook. In. <laughs> There's one. Nice one. Woo! It's a chunky one. Nice little 10 inch heater right there. They're not very deep. Like, I'm getting bit probably six foot. Using a uh, one 64 ounce jig. With this, uh, I don't know, like, I just wanted to put Craftman Green on some Pearl White just to see if it would work. So, we done caught three with it so far. I guess we'll keep plugging along and see how many we can catch with it. I mean, the water's a little bit dingy, as you can see, the crappy a little bit white, but they're really not that deep and they're thumping the crap out of it. So hopefully we're in like a feeding period right now. We'll be able to get at least 10 real quick. All I'm doing is pitching beside this dock right here giving it about eight feet of line and that one 64 ounce jig head is just going to take its time fluttering down there well not really fluttering but just going slow down there and the reason i like a 132 or a 164 hey we had a bite <laughs> but the reason i like a 132 or a 164 almost all year long or pretty much all the time if i want a heavier weight i'll put a split shot on it just because these hooks work so well with our jigs but the slower the fall the more i'm in the strike zone because like if the strike zone is this wide open i got more time in that strike zone versus going right by them real quick now if i had like you know live scope or something i would be able to keep my jig in, in, in the strike zone but i don't so i'm gonna keep it in there as long as possible and when you do that you get them and these fish are fired up i'm talking fired up look straight choked right at the top of the mouth i know they want that color
energy water. <laughs> At the first stop, but that ain't too bad. But that's one thing about the winter time is when you find a group of fish, you want to try to stay on them as long as possible if you can. I mean, if I go 20, 30 minutes without a bite, I might move, but. That's the only fish I got. I mean, that's where I'm gonna stay, but I haven't checked really anywhere else. So if I go 10, 15 minutes without a bite, I'm probably gonna move and then come back later and finish up. If I need to, I mean, they may be biting somewhere else too. I'm both flipping because I don't care. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. We're going we to give that one a little hee haw, hee haw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good. Probably almost two pounder. It'll be close. Oh. Like I was saying, I mean, they aren't very deep. So this 164 staying in the strike zone. And the crappy man jig. I mean, it don't get better than that. He didn't bite at all, it was just weight. And when you set into one of them, that's probably two, around two, three pounds, man, it's unreal. I'll put the camera over here so y'all have a better angle to see my rod and everything, what I'm doing. Hopefully, I don't know, I can't really check the footage right now. But, <laughs> It's real simple. You just kind of toss it out there and they bite it and they get off like that. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people ask like, what's the special technique you're doing something? No, it's, it's really, I'm tossing it out there. I'm giving it enough line where I've been bit so far and I'm just letting it fall and every now and then I'm gonna give it a little twitch to make that fish react to eat it now if they're eating it real good you don't have to do that but if they're slow or you know you're not sure give it a little twitch it'll make them eat it a fish's core instinct is to eat a dying bait fish or something or easy meal so when it's in their face and you're popping it and it's jumping, I mean, they're going to react to it.
Hopefully not. <laughs> As soon as it starts warming up, I'm done. I'm go home, get back in the heat. I'll let this guy over here come over here and catch him some too. Gotta get one. So while we're waiting on this one more, never go down there hit that like button. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, hit that red button for me. Come on. Always the last one to take you home. It's a little cinnamon. Get about eight feet alone. Let it go on down. There he is. Got old crack man calling on the phone. Oh, number twenty. I'm answering the phone. <laughs> Got the boat loaded up. Really didn't have a lot of water in it, so I'm pretty happy with it. Now I just need to get me a paint job on it. Install me a seat. As y'all saw, I didn't have a seat day, and that, that sucked. <laughs> but we probably put in the water about 7.30, and we're getting off now. It's about 9.30. So, give or take two hours. I messed around for a little bit after I caught the limit, just messing with the boat. And I went and talked to Dad. He's out here fishing now. But... 20 fish in about two hours you can't beat that and we got a couple good ones a couple that's average maybe one small one so all in all a good day but like i said at the beginning of the video guys let me know about the camera angle if you'd rather me put it on my on the chest cam or you like that angle let me know down below and if you want to buy some jigs crappymanjigs.com and i'll catch you on the next one yeah yeah